Community members in St. Bernard Parish left picking up the pieces after the deadly tornado rampaged through their neighborhoods. And that EF3 tornado now confirmed to have winds of 160 miles per hour and a path of more than 11 miles. WGNO's Amy Russo is in Araby tonight. Amy, what are neighbors telling you? Kurt, LBJ, it's not the first time St. Bernard Parish has been devastated by storms. We're talking back in 2005, Hurricane Katrina wiped out thousands of homes. Just last year, Hurricane Ida swept through this area as well. And as recent as Tuesday, you're looking at the aftermath from that tornado. But residents in this area, they tell me this is their home and they're here to stay. Rebuild and repair. That seems to be the motto for many living in St. Bernard Parish. With this tornado, I don't think anybody was ready for it. Devastation and much destruction, but put in Panero says it's nothing new. In 2005, she and her husband rode out Hurricane Katrina here and ended up stranded. Nine days we was on a tin roof, chips and water, whatever we could catch in the water we, we had. The flooding as high as their house numbers. It took them a while to fix their home, and she plans to fix it up again after Tuesday's tornado. But the people that I've seen and talked to trying to find out if they're okay said they're coming back. They're going to rebuild. Just a few streets down lives lifelong St. Bernard Parish homeowner Kim Vitale and her family. They've spent the last few days remaining resilient. <sighs> All right, keep it moving, keep it moving. Searching for items like this box filled with memories from her wedding. How do you feel that you found that? The head broke my heart. The reality, I guess. This, you know, this is, but keep it moving. Just keep it moving. She says the family lost everything in Katrina. At least this time, some items are salvageable. We lost two cars. Of a van, a truck, a boat, a house. Vitali says they won't leave so easily, no matter the cost. They'll keep rebuilding as often as they need to. We're still going to be here. We'll be here. Vitali and her family are actually still living in that home as they do do those cleanups that are currently underway. And something she says that she'd actually like to be seen happen out here while cleanup efforts are underway is a DJ. Kurt, LBJ. That's the spirit. Thank Not you so much. Idea. Not a bad idea.